Hey everyone, Hudson here, and welcome back to another video. Today, I will be showing you how I use Notion to organize my thoughts and content. If you haven't heard of Notion, it's a free productivity app many creators use to organize various aspects of their lives. Personally, I use it to organize the millions of ideas I have swirling around my brain on any given day. If you've been curious about using Notion in the past, but haven't found the time to cross over that initial learning curve, this video is for you. As always, if you haven't subscribed already, I would love for you to do so below and hit the bell icon so you can be notified of new posts. It really helps me if you watch the video all the way to the end, so you don't have to, but I'd really appreciate you if you did. I'm trying my very hardest to get to 1,000 subscribers and so I can join YouTube's partner program. This will allow me to invest more time, energy, and money into these videos and continue creating valuable content for all of you. Okay, with all of that said, let's get into it. If you're a student, writer, or just love productivity, you've probably heard of Notion. But if you haven't, I like to think of it as Google Docs, Excel, your calendar app, and your notes app all built into one. As a writer who writes on multiple platforms, I found Notion to be most helpful to organize my content and write down ideas as they come. I'm gonna go over the home screen, how to add and create pages, some of the basic features of Notion, how I use Notion in my everyday life, and some of Notion's more advanced features. By the end of this video, you will have a great understanding of what Notion is and how to start using it. Let's hop into my computer, get started. Hey, and welcome to my computer. So I will be screen sharing my Notion workspace to give you some real world examples of how to use the platform. I've yet to learn how to use my microphone as I'm screen recording, so I apologize in advance for yelling. Okay, let's jump right into it. So your Notion workspace is essentially your account. So if, if I click up here at the top left hand corner, you can see that this is my account. You can add other people to your workspace if you work in a collaborative environment, uh, which is a very neat feature as well. Let me make my face a little bit smaller here so you can see the rest of the screen. But what you see here is my homepage. On the left is what's called the sidebar. You can collapse that if you don't want to look at it or click this to have it pop out and then within the sidebar you have a series of pages now you can make your own pages which I will show you how to do in just a moment or you can add pages that are shared with you so before we do anything I'll show you how to add a page that has been shared with you I'll use this page as an example and it's actually a template I've made for writers which you can download below in the description for free now pages are shared via URLs, so either somebody can share the URL with you directly, or if it's a paid page or product, you would you may access that via a PDF. Regardless, when you open up the page, it'll take you to a screen just like this. Now, the first thing you want to do is select Duplicate. If you don't see the option for Duplicate, maybe you're on a mobile device, you would just hit the three dots, and then the duplicate option will pop up. And that will automatically bring this page over to your Notion workspace. From there, you can start using the page or maybe you wanna make your own page, which I will show you how to do. So if you would like to make a page of your own, you can do so by simply selecting add a page and you will see a list of options of the type of page that you would like to make. So um, let's say you want to make something very s simple, just a page to store some information. Just say simple page. You can click down here and just start adding information here. You can highlight this to adjust the type of Font. Let's say you want to write a blog post in here or just add some imp information. You can also hit the plus icon and see a selection of all the type of um, items you can add into your page. Some very simple here, numbered list, table, 
the bullet list to some more advanced options down here. You can add in a table of your own in, in which you can, um, let's say, random items. And then you can make lists here. Each of this opens up a page and you can search for this, which is pretty cool. Um, there's tons of options here. So um, I won't go too in depth into the type of pages you can make. If you are interested in all the applications um, that Notion has, you can always select templates and it will show you some, some very advanced and neat uh, pre-made pages. So you can go here and see, you can add um, boards. I believe those are called boards. You can add um, lists like this, like for to-do to, to lists. Um, there's tons of applications and to be honest, it can be a little bit overwhelming at first. So keep things super simple. Um, that's how you add a page. You can add a cover, um, which is very cool. You can upload to, uh, it links to, Upsplash, Unsplash, you can add some, you know, really cool pictures here. You can add an emoji. I, I like to add these because I prefer to operate off of the sidebar. So I like to open up my app and just open up the sidebar and um, navigate to the page I'm interested in that way. Some people like to make a page that, that acts as an entryway to more pages. So. For instance, I have a page here called the Content Vault, and this acts as my hub for all of my content. So I, I just uh, hop over here to the sidebar, Content Vault, and then click on any of uh, any of the platforms that I would like to add content for. This is part of a custom Notion workspace I've made called the Mindful Content Organization System. Um, it has everything. The great thing about Notion is that all of your pages are accessible on your computer or on your phone via the mobile app. But for me personally, as a writer, I lean heavily on tables. I keep everything in tables because they're word-based and they're easy for me to add in written content. So for my Medium articles, uh, I just open up my app. I, I uh, do this usually on my phone because it'll be out on a hike or out in the world doing errands and I'll get an idea and I'll pull out my phone and add, add it here and then you can organize them via tag. So I have them organized as idea, next, or finished. Keep things really simple. But you can adjust this at any time, make your own tags. Um, you can adjust the layout if you prefer a board view a gallery, you can organize your content into a calendar, anything and everything um, you can imagine, you can make. Let's go back to our page we made here before. I'll show you how to add some of these in. So you can see here we've added our table. Let's go ahead and delete this and we will add a few handy um, properties. Um, I believe they're called properties to the page that um, I like more information. So, if you go on the plus icon here, um, you can add in a page. Let's say you want to use this page as your home base. Let's just do that for a second. So let's say you want to use this as your home base. So when you open up your app, you come to this page and um, it acts as um, a doorway to more information. So you, you can add, instead of text, you can add a page. And this page will be um, more information. So uh, more information. And maybe you add a, you know, an icon there. And you can see at the top, it has the root to that page. So we'll go back to our home page. You can see here, now you have a page added. Maybe you have some text here, a reminder or a mantra. And then down here, let's say you want to add in uh, a toggle list. Let's say you, you want to say remember these things. And then under it, you could add in this thing. You could add in another thing. And then when you hit the, 
little arrow there, it'll be hidden, so it's not overwhelming for you. And there's tons of options here, so I would urge you just to go into a page, hit the plus icon, and begin just experimenting with um, everything there is here to offer. You can add in images. Um, that was the wrong one. You can add in images. Where is it? It's here somewhere. Images from your computer, or you can use Unsplash if you want to make some visual cues. And the last thing I wanted to go over is how you can share pages you have created with other people. This makes it super easy to share information not only with other creators or coworkers, but it's a very easy way for you to sell products. After you've made a page, if you click on share up here at the top, you can toggle this to share to web, and then you can copy the link, and this essentially is a link to the to the page you have created. So if we open up a new tab here and we enter that, then we wait for my internet to load the page, you can see that now somebody else will have the option to duplicate this page to their Notion workspace. For me, this was super eye-opening and revealed what a product really is nowadays and how easily it is to monetize your work. Okay, that does it for this video on how to use Notion to organize your thoughts and content. I hope that gives you a great understanding of how to start using Notion as part of your routine. As I mentioned, my mindful content organization system is available to be downloaded below as well as a free version for writers. If you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe and let me know in the comments which part of this video you found most helpful. Thank you so much for watching until the end and have a great day.